this is probably going to be an emotional video. I was emotional before starting it. And then um, I read this piece that I want to share on a Facebook post, on a, on a business page's Facebook post. So Molly Burke, who is a YouTuber who is also blind and therefore very involved in the um, disability movement, or at least, sorry, a more outspoken figure in the disability movement than most people with disabilities have the platform to be able to do. So she did a video last week featuring small businesses that were owned and or operated by people with disabilities. There was a clothing company by two blind brothers that I almost bought some stuff off of, but their stuff is a little overpriced for me. And this other one um, called Journey to Jacob's Ladder, or at least that's the same with their Facebook page. And it is very briefly, without me understanding much about it, it is a autistic son and his mother who um, who run it together. And one of their pieces that she mentioned in the video that she specifically didn't buy, because it was, um, I looked at it, it was four interconnected puzzle pieces. And puzzle pieces and autism has a bad connotation because of Autism Speaks. Autism Speaks is a not-for-profit that has basically said that autism is a disease that needs to be eradicated. And autistic people don't feel that way. And yet a lot of times autistic um, people's parents, especially when they're young, do feel that way because they had a vision for their child that autism is in the way of. And so the interconnection between this not-for-profit that ends up speaking over and trying to eradicate a, a disease that doesn't, that for autistic people doesn't feel like a disease. It is part of who we are. And yet for a lot of parents, it is something that also makes their life hard. <sighs> Long before I figured out I had autism, I was also connected to puzzle pieces. I did a Twitter thread talking about how we are all pieces of the greater puzzle. And what if we were found in the wrong box and all we had to do is find the right box and be part of that bigger, that bigger picture. And that is what I'm here on this planet to do is start helping people assemble that picture. So the Molly Burke, who has 2 million subscribers, so she's a very big YouTuber, mentioned Autism Speaks and that she and other autistic people have, a, have an issue with it. And in her, when you do a YouTube video and you pin a comment, a lot of times that's the one that they actually interact with, the YouTube personality. And so she was asking for more specific small business advice. I had mentioned peer coaching in that, the project that I am doing. And someone had asked, what is, what's the issue with Autism Speaks? And a few people answered. And someone had pointed out that for Jacob's Ladder, the puzzle that his mom had addressed it on their Facebook page. So I went and thought it out. And I want to read just this piece of it because, oh, it's also how I feel. And it makes me dislike Autism Speaks even more because they've co-opted the puzzle piece as a thing that is broken in us instead of what she's talking about in this post and what I feel the puzzle pieces were long before figuring out I was autistic <sighs> which gave me a piece of myself a piece of my puzzle that helped me figure out who I am it wasn't I didn't get autism I discovered I had it like it anyway the puzzle piece for me is a personal thing one that has absolutely nothing to do with autism speaks I've always loved puzzles and puzzle pieces way before we had Jacob or knew about autism. That grew stronger in the years we longed for a child. Through the nine years of waiting, we felt very deeply that a piece of our family was missing. As we waited and prayed, there was always a sense of a missing piece of the puzzle in our lives. When Jacob was first diagnosed, we were exposed to the puzzle piece connected with autism. It seemed perfect for me because I never associated it with meaning that something was missing in Jacob or with anyone with autism. I took it to mean that each one of us is a unique piece of the puzzle. That without each of us and our individual one-of-a-kindness, that picture slash puzzle isn't complete. Jacob is proof of that. My world, in fact, the world as a whole, would not be complete without his joy and love for life. When we are finally blessed with him through adoption, we had a missing piece of our family. And that is exactly what puzzle pieces in general meant to me before Autism Speaks. And it sucks that there's an organization called Autism Speaks that has a puzzle piece as their logo yet is trying to eradicate 
autism, when the autistic community themselves says we do not need to be eradicated, we kind of like living, We're, it makes us special. And that it's called Autism Speaks and all it does is speak over people who are autistic. And it ends up being the charity that people who want to support autism end up supporting unknowingly. Anyway, I just wanted to share this because it made me emotional and I wanted to, I don't think Molly Burke was, 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 she couldn't even address this all in her video. She was addressing small businesses with uh, people with disabilities, which is a great thing to do. But also the fact that now, you know, she has stated this one thing on her Facebook page this one time, which isn't connected to YouTube. I wanted to share it here, even though I know uh, whoever's meant to see it will see it. I will tag it with Molly Burke and Jacob's Ladder and Autism Speaks and Puzzle Piece and whoever's meant to see it will find it. Thanks.